All right, we're going. I'm here with my new friend. Uh, what's your name or stage name? Fancy. Fancy. So, um, so I, uh, I'm paying you for an interview. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you do and your experience, how we met, and what I, what I asked you. Um, well, I came up and asked you if you wanted a date because I'm a commercial company. And that means I work out here with all the, um, the other the other local girls. And that's, a, that's how we make our extra money. Some of it's, it's the only job we had. Or some, uh, some of us have part-time jobs, but uh, I have a part-time time job as well, but I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, I appreciate you mentioning, uh, or you, you being part of the part of the show uh, I think some of the guys in Russia would like you um, so we love Russia yeah <laughs> all right um, so how much money can you make in a night Stop on a good, good night like yeah. on a weekend or something like that on the weekends we really don't make any money here the money is on Sundays on Sundays yes Sunday through Thursday but we make anywhere from 500 to over a thousand a night. What's the worst money you could make in a night? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? And yeah. how many hours? You could be out here for several hours and not make anything. Uh, does it depend on the weather? I think it just depends on the mood of the truck driver. On the mood of the truck driver? It could be the weather. It could be a lot of things. It how, could be that they're broke. How, how the loads were the week, huh? What um? What are the prices? Well, they're all different. Everybody charges different. I charge. I normally charge um, fifty, seventy-five, and a hundred, and that's just for a day. That's not for an all-night day. Now, the truck drivers. How often are they married or in relationship or like the girlfriends calling? You got any yeah, stories like that? we have to like be that? quiet. <laughs> we have to be quiet. You got some stories like that? Anything crazy ever happened? Well, I had one one uh, truck driver. He was he was getting high. And he had, he handed me the phone and I answered it. And it was his wife, you know. And he was just so high he couldn't answer the phone. <laughs> and she cussed me out. Yeah, I could imagine so. Um. So. Uh, but normally, as a rule, we keep that part of it. <laughs> separate and how long have you been doing this almost 30 years 30 years on and off is it dangerous yes it can be very dangerous uh, what does that mean what does danger mean I've been mean? in the truck with a serial killer before and it, as it turned out I, I got out because he was acting a little strange and my, my friend got it got in the truck with him after I left and she had been up dead in Ludwig Texas strange as in what um, as, as a rule, drivers are a different breed altogether anyway because they live such a lonely life out here and it's exhausting mentally, physically, and emotionally. So, um, and I know because I used to drive, but, um, and their work is hard, it's not easy. Like, and they're, uh, they're not n near appreciated. How, how do you spot a serial killer truck driver? You don't. You don't? No, there is no face. There is no face. It's usually the ones you, you you trust the most. I see. Um, but so we have fun out here too. What do you do? You do it? Okay. We do have fun. We party on the back of flatbeds and drop decks, and we do have topless dances, and it, you know, like, like like if it's on a weekend and somebody stays over for the weekend, we might you know sit on the back of the, that flatbed, sure. and put turn some music up, yeah. drink a little bit, and it's on and popping. Uh, what about police? Police, as a rule, don't really mess with us too much. The only ones they really mess with are the ones that are breaking in loads and stuff like that. So police don't care. No, they do care. They do care. But they don't. They're not going to bother anybody that's not bothering anybody else. Okay. So if nobody calls. Oh yeah. People call. Yes, they do. Especially and, if they see you breaking into somebody's load. Okay. But if I called today? Oh, they would respond. And what would they do? Tell you to leave? Yes. That's, 
because that's I, all? Yeah, only because I don't, I don't have any warrants. And, oh, okay. They check you. Okay, oh, yes, I see. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then you break my windows or twist up my airlines. <laughs> have you ever done now, there that? Are, there are some. There are a lot of them that will do that. That will. Yeah. yeah. You know how to screw up my truck. Yep. <laughs> what have you done? Have you ever I not gotten never done paid? That, or, but I know how to do it. Have you ever not gotten paid and? Uh, no. No. Never been. Never been a problem for me. But I've seen. I've, I've seen a lot of girls. So Go. why do you do it? I do it for uh, because I used to be a drug addict, and this is where where all the drugs were. Now that I'm not a drug addict anymore, I do it for the money so I can pay my bills. If you could pay your bills, would you still do it? No. No. So it's not that fun. No, it's not that fun. But it huh. can be depending on the person that you're with. How much bills do you have? Just out of curiosity. Well, I have quite a bit. I have yeah. a. I, I have a house all to myself, so, you know, and I, and I have to pay every bill in the world, and it's, uh, it's a fixer-upper, you well, know. Well, just out of curiosity, can a trucker, or, um, truck driver position pay for all your bills? Why don't you drive a truck? Why don't you do a I real could. job? I could. I just... But this is convenient. Yes, it's just convenient at the moment when I need money I mean, now. Maybe you want to be a car hauler, I mean... I would love to. You, yeah? Oh. <laughs> so, um, I would love to. We can talk about that more later. <laughs> okay. Um, but tell me more. Uh, tell me some interesting stories maybe some of the guys would like to hear. Well, we seem to have more uh, more men out here doing dates than women these days. Men doing dates? Yes. Really? Yes. Your, your competition is another guy. Yes. And they're doing better. Yes. I don't think the Russian guys are going to like to hear this. No. They're not no. going to like to hear this, but they are going to like to see this. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It, it's it's still here, and it's still, still going strong. Just because some of the guys are acting a little, a little weird, and some of the truck drivers are a little weird. weird you, you know? Yeah. Um, There's a separation somewhere. So, men dates, huh? I've seen them do it, but they'll deny it till the end. Well, but there's a lot of truck drivers that are like that. Really? Yes. I got paid to watch two of them. What? Yes, and I was like... <laughs> are truck drivers nasty? As a rule, no. No? Not normally. But you ha you do have some that are extremely nasty. They're, e they're, they're either all the way nasty or they're just... Like, you know? I, I mean, like, are, you can tell a lot by their cabs, huh? Kind of like dirty. <laughs> you know, like cigarette butts all over. Oh, that's what you look Finger for right nails. away. Yes. Lots so. of other things you should look for too. Mine are. Yours are clean. <laughs> Is that the first thing that you looked at? Yeah. Yeah? That, that and your teeth. You're like, I can talk to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> we could do a YouTube interview. Because I'm uh, not going to let you touch me if you got dirty hands. Yeah. Um. I see. Uh, what kind of uh, religions are the guys? They're all, all yeah. cultures. I mean, Christian guys, there, Jewish there's guys. Every walk of life out here. Yeah. Yes. And they all order girls. Most of them, yeah. They get lonely. The Russian guys order girls. A lot of them. A lot of Russian. Yes. Do you know any Russian words? Yes, I have a few co Russian customers. Yeah, repeat customers that call yes. you when they're in town. Yes. yes, and they pay good money. Who they pays, don't like to, but they do. Who pays the best? Russians. Really? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Because they love an American woman. American <laughs> women know how to give it. I might have some Russian wives watching this. <laughs> uh, do you think their husbands may have been with you? I certainly have yeah. not. <laughs> church, Baptist church going guys? Oh yeah. Really? All walks of life. Huh. We're going to have to have a talk at church. Okay. Um, what else do you think? You, you got any interesting um, stories you think we... What's, uh, what's a way to get out of this? A way to get out of it? Is it easy for you to get to out? make your mind up to do it. Is it, is it like... It's not hard. Do you feel like you're trapped in it? No. No? Okay. 
everybody at doing it by choice? Time, at one point in time, I felt like I don't know, know anything else to do but this. But I do know, you know. I wasn't raised in that. I came from a very good family, a well-to-do family. There's no logical reason for me to be out here other, to, other than I have too much pride to ask my parents for money. Let's see. Um, trying to think of more things to ask. I wasn't really ready for this type of video, but uh, I will tell you this: we do have lots of fun out here with with the drivers that, that are decent and, and brought up right, and as long as the yeah. girl, you know, as long as the girl is doing what she's paid to do, then there's no problems, you know, and there's and there never should be. Because back in the day when I started doing this, drivers would, would come and rescue you when you needed to be rescued. They would pay for you to have something to eat if you were hungry, you know. They'd let you ride with them if you didn't have any place to go, and they don't do that anymore. Do they ever just give you money and just say, go away? Yeah. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, I can. I'm just joking. <laughs> I, I can't imagine it. Yeah, they, they, they just... Uh, not very often, but yeah, it does happen. Like they sympathize or whatever, and they just... Yeah. They just say, go and home. And then they get disgusted because they get woke up so much. They just get... They just say, go home. I had a few times. I had... Okay, this is the fourth time I've been asked. You know, it's been... I had twice in Florida and once here in Dallas. Right. Um... You know, yeah, and one time I was really angry. I was woken up at four in the morning, and my alarm was at five, and I couldn't fall back asleep. I was really unhappy. One time, I will tell you this. One time, because there's lots of truck drivers that smoke dope, and one, one time there was gotten a truck with this driver that was smoking dope, and every time he would take a hit of dope, he'd go like this. <laughs> I don't, uh, don't ask me why. Do police ever uh, want to have a good time? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yes. We have our select few. Yeah. I don't indulge. You don't indulge? No. Everybody wants to have a good time. How about girls? Do girls want to have a good time? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. We, you know what? We have to make this fun for us because if we don't, we don't we'll hate ourselves. No, I'm saying like girls hire you. Oh, yeah. They get lonely, too? Yeah. Why don't people just meet people? Huh? Just never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Sometimes this is how we meet. I'm, I, I was doing this when I met my first husband. Yeah? And he, we got married and had a child together. You met your husband like this? Yes. Oh, well, let's see. You want me to stand? Is that better? Or, yeah. I don't know. Better. Um, so... And then you went on the road with him. Yeah, we went on the road, and I got pregnant. You know, I he see. was just very good to me. I see. So, it worked out for a while, huh? Yeah, five years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. You think tonight's going to be a good night? Absolutely. Really? I'm counting on. And, and you just came out. I'm your first customer. Yes. What kind of customer? What kind of customer? <laughs> yeah, every, everyone else tonight is going to want a YouTube interview too. <laughs> I better hurry up and upload this. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so. Russians, we want y'all here. Do, do you just work in one particular area or do you hit like many areas in many a night? Many areas in a night. Yeah, how many areas? Depending on how busy it is. How many areas do you do you keep in mind? What's the uh, youngest girl that would be uh, doing this that you've met? Just out of curiosity. I'd say twenty. Twenty, like a college student trying to get through, ran away from home, or what no, kind of situation? Just drug addicts, just drug addicts. Mainly drug addicts. Yeah. See, um, what I would love to do someday is do a documentary. A documentary on this. Maybe this is the start of one. Yeah. 
maybe we could do part two to this later. I would love to. Yeah, what, what kind of things would you want to show in the documentary? I, I what do you think? I want people that, to be aware of what these people go through out here. What do they go through? I, I mean, I, I'm trying to ask questions, but maybe there's you should present the question. There's a lot of heartache and there's a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. What do they need? And most of it is because they don't feel love. They're looking for love in all the wrong places. So they, um, what, how could somebody help get them out show, of drugs? Show them a different way. Show a them different a different way. way to ma maintain, if you're going to do what you're doing, then maintain it at a respectable level. Tell them they should like Ferraris and Lamborghinis and be a exactly. car hauler. <laughs> you know, car, that's what saved my life from drugs. I always knew that I could never touch a Lamborghini if I did drugs. But, uh, but do you have a Lamborghini now? Uh, I know a lot of guys that do and that let me handle their cars. And I, some guys I delivered cars for that, they, uh, they get upset if I don't visit them when I'm near their town. That's wonderful. You know, one guy's got a collection of 80 cars and every time I'm in his town, he said, park your truck at my warehouse, I'll pick you up. and. We drive his cars around because he doesn't have anyone that he trusts around his cars as much as me, for example. Wow. So if you, you You've know, if there's a rapport, then. so if, yeah, if there's a car show to go to, and you know, if he wants to take a car, and I can go with him to a car show, I'll I'll follow now, him see, in that's another car. They need to, they they need to see other things that they can do and and feel good about themselves too. Yeah. Yeah, um, I would like to do a documentary. people like that are lonely too. Yes. But, um, so it's loneliness and drugs. Yes. And the drugs are what makes them lonely. The drugs are what? It, it makes them lonely because it alienates them from their family. They alienate themselves from their family. Because family doesn't want to be and, involved. And it doesn't matter if you're doing, doing drugs or not or if you're embarrassed or not. Call home. They need to hear from you. Um, what's uh how do I get you in the back of my refrigerator and lock you up in there it's not gonna happen not gonna happen <laughs> not gonna happen what if like two Russians like I don't ever get in no. the truck with two men oh uh, never that's a rule but you can handle a guy have you had to wrestle a guy ever oh yeah yeah how often not very often. Not very often. Maybe two, two or three times. What does he want? What would they want? They want to take their money back. They want to take their... They got a bad deal? No. They, no. Want, they think they're going to rob, rob you after they've they already... They think they could get a two-for-one special, huh? Yeah. Has anyone ever gotten a deal? No. no? You still get your way? Really? I have mace. You have mace. I have mace, too. And I have a pistol. I carry one. Have you ever had to use it? No. You just show it? I've had to point it one time. One time. Because I don't, I, I'm a firm believer in it. What is it, a 22? Yeah. I'm a firm believer in You don't put that in somebody's face unless you're going to use it. Yeah. So, when your pants are down, you better be ready to perform. Right? <laughs> just do what Let's you look. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I guess this is Texas, right? It kind of helps this out. This is Texas. So, um, Everything's big in Texas. <laughs> That's why yeah. I came to Texas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> no, this is. Uh, I appreciate you making the interview. This is. Um, maybe. Uh, maybe we will shoot a part two. Maybe I we think could. That, uh, uh, we should make plans to do that. But it, because in the second part, I'm going to tell you about the serial killers. I'm going to tell you about the things that they've done to women. The pictures that I've seen. The women they've done it to, and and what was behind their reasonings for doing it. So you have some friends that didn't make it out alive? I've had several. Out of this? What happened to them for first? Tragic, tragic things. I mean... They let two it, guys it, lock them up in a refrigerator? Ab, ab, abnormal things. Abnormal, abnormal. yes. Like slipped, and, like slipped and fell off a step or something like that? No. On their way out I'm or what? I'm talking about torturing. Torturing, like legit they tortured, crazy they, guys. They tortured, the, they tortured these women. How, how y'all you know, think the cartel's bad? It's nothing compared to this. Yeah. yeah. 
What Nothing is compared this? to what I've seen. What do you mean by this when you say it? When I say you know, the truck, the truck stop girls, you know. This is worse than a drug cartel. It can be, yeah. It can for be. a woman. It can for be. a woman. Yeah. It can be for a man too. Are you stupid? Any... Are the girls stupid? They're just naive. Naive. Yeah. They don't. Know, they don't know what they've gotten themselves into. They seen some easy money and then. That's what they think they see. And then they meet and a guy like end, me that wants a video. Yes, exactly. And that's what I want to discuss in part two. If we make so that. So at uh, part two, we will see you, and I will, I will give you explicit details on uh, how the women were mutilated, what happened? tortured, and mutilated, tortured, huh? By Christian guys. Supposedly. Supposedly. Does does like a Jesus sticker mean anything to you on a truck, or like it means you know something to me, but a lot, a lot of it doesn't to them. You've it been means in something different to everyone. To me, that's my 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 creator. Yeah, right. But um, to I the guys, it. are there customers like that that'll have? Yes, that will have the Jesus stickers in the window. Yes, sir. The go to church. Yes. On Sunday, then the yes. liquor store. Yes. And then the we've got one truck driver that comes here. And he's a cross-dresser. He's a cross-dresser. Yes, but he will not date any women. But but he will let women in, in his truck. And he has like this, huh, in the back of his truck, it's nothing but S&M. And, you know, um, it's got all the women's negligees. And, and he puts heels on and s sits in front of the truck with his leg up on the dash like this with uh, net stockings on. Mm -hmm. And he just sits there and smokes his cigarettes. And he puts a wig on and some red lipstick and that's it and he just wants to hang out yeah but that's okay. weird it it's is strange. weird russian and guys never, and no no never catch never, a russian doing never, that never never i've never seen a russian guy like any that. russian gay guys no no Not that i've ever met yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i can honestly say that no no how about any other nationalities? Oh, several. Several, <laughs> yes. right? Latino guys, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. They they like homosexual. Yeah, I think that um, uh, people have been turned on to, you know, uh, in this industry because they do live such lonely lives. And I'm not going to tell you my answer. The loneliness makes them yes. homosexual. It makes them. Um, the word I'm looking for. Desperate. Desperate. Yeah. For companion. Well, we're at 23 minutes now. Uh, just a few more Time's minutes. Up. And <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, maybe you could bring a couple of your friends out next time. I would love to. And I we think, might even do that uh, tonight, part two. You want to? I don't know if I could afford it. <laughs> Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need to make a phone call for that phone a friend. Okay. Uh, you just let let me know if you're ready, and we'll do the document doc, documentary be, uh, when the sun goes down. That could be. It'll interesting. make it a little bit more eerie. Yeah, if a couple girls, uh, you know, not busy. Um, sounds pretty interesting. So, yeah, anything else you had? I will discuss it with you in yeah. okay. the next episode. All right. <laughs> Thanks again. No problem.